So what happens when we change a value in Python? Here I've got x gets 27. So we're starting x off with an integer value. And I'm going to go ahead and increment this by 3. And if we print this, of course, we're going to get 30. What I want to show here is that uh, the memory location that's been allocated for 27 is different from the me memory location that's been allocated for 30. And we can see this by just looking at the ID of x. And we can look at it before the incrementation when its value is 27. We can look at it after the incrementation when its value is 30. And we'll see two different numbers. So what this implies is that the, the place that x is pointing at its value has changed. And this leads us to this concept of an immutable type, immutable type. In Python, there are a few immutable types. Um, the ones that we're going to think about for now, uh, integers, floats, booleans, uh, strings, and later we'll look at tuples. So any of these types, if I change, you know, change 27 to 27.0 and then add 3, we're going to see a change in the ID when we print it off. So something else that's interesting about this, let's say I make another variable, y, and y is going to be, I'm going to take the same idea. I want to make sure that we know we're talking about x, and we know we t we're talking about y. And we're just going to look at these two IDs. So x and y are both pointing at the same value. And sure enough, they have the same ID. Now, if I modify both x and y, I'm going to do that. Oh, just noticed that was an error. And just to verify that x and y both have the same ID. I'll just output that one more time. And in this case, we're modifying both x and y. And we're going to look at the new IDs for both. And if you suspect that the new IDs are going to be the same, then you are correct. So this is uh, interesting, but you don't want to always trust it, OK? This is going to hold true for a certain range of integer values. And once you get outside of that range, you can't trust that these IDs are going to be the same. But the kind of what's happening here is that uh, Python is optimizing for certain ranges of commonly used integer values. And so if we're looking at 27, 27 happens enough that you might as well point both x and y at the same place in memory.